my people what's going on may the lord jesus christ bless every single body on here i just want to be quick i don't like to come on here and um and waste too many people's time as they call it um for the words that come from my heart um, are not to waste anybody's time but it's speaking truth to those who will to accept it you know those who will to accept the uh, the word of god because not too many of us accept it we want like i said we want to dictate how we want the word of god to be and we want the word of god to be according to our pleasures and how we want to live life um and we don't want to accept the truth of god and it's going around a lot a lot of people are scared to speak the truth of god people don't go out and speak the truth of god anymore they sugarcoat it they some people make it about about prosperity oh it's going to bless you and this and that and you're going to be rich and you're going to have money and this and that because that's what human beings like to like to hear us as sinful human beings we like to we love we love lies but when we come and we tell you the truth you don't want to accept it you fight it even if we show you in the word of god and i'm not here to judge anybody again my videos are in love i do it in love um from whoever wants to accept it that that's that's all that i could do um and like i tell you i have a lot of people whom i love a lot of people who whom i care for who live under this lie whether it be because of tradition whether it be because they're gaining something out of it or just plain ignorance but a lot of people a lot of people um live like that and you know i i express the truth not to disrespect anybody but i must speak the word of god i cannot stop speaking the word of god to make others feel good about themselves because the lord jesus christ said it man if you love mother you know father brother sister son daughter more than me then you are not worthy of me he said it clearly in the scripture and that's what's happening too many of us we give value to other things other than god you know we put our parents before god we put our children before god and the honest truth is it sounds rough but that's not the way it's supposed to be you're not supposed to put anybody and anyone before god god goes first and that's how it is my people you know and i just want you guys to understand and those who feel offended by the words that are coming out of my mouth i apologize you know i apologize um because i don't mean to disrespectful but i don't apologize for saying the words because the words are truth and the words are in the word of god and if god speaks through me man who's going to come against god and his truth and there's a lot of things my people that we need to accept you know what i'm saying um first of all images i got so many people again that believe in images and they do their thing and if they hear this most likely they'll get offended but i'm not doing it to offend them because i do love them you know if they turn against me that's fine you know because i love god and i need to tell the truth and i need to you know have people walk away from the lies of the devil man you know i i i put it in before and i've told you that god said it in exodus i believe it's exodus 20 or something like that where he says you shall not make or have any any griven images of the heavens above of the earth or of the water below now what does he say with that that we should not bow down to images any images we should not bow down to we shall not worship them okay because this is what the word of god says and whoever wants to argue it i'll give you the scripture so you can see and no matter i know that once you read it you won't accept it and that should prove it hurts me to say that it should prove that you don't have christ in you because if you have jesus christ in you you want to do the will of jesus and listen to him so i want to tell you guys because i love you man there are many of us you know that are in religions that bow down to images and and worship them if you kiss something you're worshiping them if you bow down to them you're worshiping them the lord said you shall not have any images of the things in heaven above 
or the things on the earth or on the sea below and you shall not bow down to them and you shall not worship them. This is from the word of God Almighty, the one who sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us. And today we receive grace, we receive forgiveness, but that doesn't give the excuse to keep breaking the commands of God because Jesus did not come in any way to break the laws. He came to complete the law and to give us the grace to be able to stand strong and do it, you know, and receive forgiveness because we couldn't do it on our own strength. So he does it by the, by the Holy Spirit. So God is very jealous of all of my people that I love. Please, if you need the scripture, I'll give it to you. But it's wrong. I understand you believe this. This is your religion. God has, you know, he has, it's been, what is the word? It's a tradition. It's a tradition for you. You know what I'm saying? I understand. But I'm not fighting with you. I am not judging you. I am just coming and speaking the word of God. So that you guys can break free. I pray for all of y'all every day because I love you guys. You know, but you have to break free because this is not of God. This is the devil. And you don't know it. You believe that it's, 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 it's oh, it's God. This is, no, it's not God. That is the devil. Just like some people in the Catholic Church that they bow down to the, you know, they bow down to the cross of Jesus. That is against the word of God. That is not from God. The devil is that wants you to be an idolatrous. That's what you're being, an idolatrous. You're worshiping image. It doesn't matter who is in the image. Even if it's Jesus himself, God said, you shall not have images of the heaven above. What does that mean? No images of nothing in heaven, no angels, no God, no Jesus. You can't justify the truth of God because the truth of God justifies itself. And it proves us to be sinful. What you need to do is repent and come to Jesus and ask him to guide you. You know, and turn from those things, people. That is the truth of the Lord. And I'm sorry I, I, I come like this, but again, I do it out of love, you know. Jesus Christ is the Lord and his word is truth, people. And I tell you, I am a sinner like you because the other day I found out that I had envy in me. Because I was looking at something and I felt envious of it. I realize this. You know what I do with that? Instead of just continuing to walk, oh, Jesus forgives me. Uh, let me continue to be envious and, you know, and destroy other people. No, I came to the Lord and I said, Lord, please have mercy on me. Take this out of me. Take this evil out of me. Take this envy out of me. That's what we need to do. Not keep it and say, oh, the Lord forgives me. If I'm prideful, if I'm full of pride, he still loves me and it's okay. No, he loves you, but he doesn't like pride. He doesn't like envy. He doesn't like hate. He wants these things to be out of you. It's a, exactly all there is. That is a feeling of the flesh. Exactly. Un saludo, chamorro, como está, que Dios te bendiga. That is a, that is a feeling of the flesh. Okay, and anything that's according to the flesh is his enemy of God. So you have to come to the Lord and plead to him and say, Lord, take these things out of me. Lord, take this me being an idolatrous away from me because God doesn't like none of those things. And we live so much under sin. We go to the church, we pray to God, we sing to him, and yet we walk happily under these sins before God. And this is not of Jesus. You're not walking with God, man. You're not repenting of these things. You're not, you're not looking for the Lord to take those things out of you. And right now as we speak, right now my brothers and sisters as we speak, I am going to a trial. I'm going through a process. I don't know what it is. Yes, I feel pain in my heart every day. I feel depressed. I feel like the Lord has abandoned me. All this I'm going through right now. I feel it in my heart. I feel broken. But you know what? I praise the Lord Jesus Christ for his love is unfailing and his mercies are forever. But we need to come and ask him to cleanse us of all these unrighteous things in us, all these sins. Not harbor it and continue to walk and think that God is with us because that is hypocrisy, my people. So in the word, in the, in the love of Jesus Christ, I come to you guys. I am not coming in hate. I am not coming to attack you. I am coming to speak the, the word of the living God. Okay, what I'm speaking to you is in the Bible. If you want to inbox me, go ahead. I will give you, you know, the, the chapters and all that and the book where it is. I am not speaking lie. 
this is what the Lord puts in my heart to speak to everybody who I love here. So may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you on this day. And I pray that he opened your eyes and touches your heart to see the truth. To see the truth because I one was very, very blinded. I was blinded a long time ago. I loved God and, and I walked and I praised him. But yet I lived in this world of fornication thinking that it was okay. Oh, I fornicated with so many women and it's okay. You know, I love God. I didn't care about it. Most of my sins, ignorance, you know what I'm saying? And, and most of them I thought it was okay. But they're not. The Lord wants to pull you out of this world because this is the devil. You know, just like you love God, he loves you back. And he sees that the devil is using you. Is using you to mock the word of God, to mock God. And in the ignorance, you might not even know you're doing it. But the Lord says today, accept my truth and break free. For I am here and I have given you my spirit to give you the power to be victorious over the evil one. And I will make you victorious. For that is why my son, Jesus Christ, died for you. So remember, you are not alone. Jesus Christ, Father Jehovah is with you, man. Just come to him and pray against all the lies of the, of the devil. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless everybody. I love you all so much.